Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I will show you how to make this type of part in FreeCAD. And FreeCAD is a fully free 3D CAD system that can be used for both hobby and commercial use. We can install FreeCAD on a computer and we can use this system to do paid projects. I will now turn to a new file and show you how to create a similar part. We will start by creating a sketch on the exit plane. And here we will create two circles. Then I will add the dimensions of these circles and exit the sketch. And I'll add an extrusion for 100 millimeters. OK, now I'm going to create one of these three parts. I'll create a sketch on that wall. I'll create a reference geometry based on the outer edge of the model. And now I'm going to create a circle that has the same diameter as the outside diameter of the model. That is, I draw a circle. And now, after I draw this circle, I select these two circles and I select the equality, constrain, and now I choose to draw a rectangle. And I draw a rectangle from the center so that the center of this rectangle lies on the y axis. Then I add the dimensions of this rectangle, here 30, then this dimension and here 10. OK, right click to cancel the dimensioning. And now I select that point and I select the circle and I select constraint point onto object. And now I trim the unnecessary parts of the geometry, that is, I trim this part of the circle. this part of the circle, and this fragment of the rectangle. OK, here we are still missing the constraints. I grab the geometry of the rectangle and gently move this geometry. And here you can see where there are no constraints. This point is not constrained to this point. And this point is not constrained to this point. OK. And now everything looks OK. Exit the sketch and I add an extrusion of this sketch. Here I'm choosing reversed so that I'm adding an extrusion in the other direction because by default the extrusion is done kind of forward. And one of the rules of FreeCAD is that the next stage of the 3D model should touch the previous stage of the 3D model. So in this case, if we would have added an extrusion in this direction. This part would not touch the previous model stage, and that's why the model disappeared. But here in this case, we're doing the extrusion this way anyway, so we have to use the reversed option, and here we select up to face, and select this wall to add the extrusion to this wall. OK, now let's add rounding in these corners. I select these two corners with the cutl key. I choose the fillet command and add a rounding with a radius of 15 millimeters. Then I select this wall and create a sketch on this wall. I will recognize these radii. And at the centers of these radii, I will create circles. OK, I will add the dimension of one circle, 15 millimeters. We can add the dimension of the other circle. Or we can use constraints. Select these two circles. And we have created something like this. And now we're going to add more copies of this element. So that we get something like this. And we're going to do this using a polar pattern. And in order to do that, with the control key, select the operations that were used to make this part of the model. So that was the extrusion, the rounding, and the pocket operation. Then select the polar pattern operation. Here, select the y axis as the axis of the pattern. As the number of copies, enter three copies and click OK. 
and in this way we created something like this. Now we will add holes so that they lie between these elements. And for this purpose we create an auxiliary sketch. I'm going to select this wall and I'm going to create an auxiliary sketch on this wall. And here I'm going to use reference geometry. I select this line and this line. And now I draw a line that starts at this point and ends at this point. This line will be the construction line. OK. And I draw another line that lies at this point and goes through this line. Here we could make it so that this line touches the outer edge of the model, but I would like it to extend a little bit beyond the model outline, and we'll do that in a moment. And now I would like this line to pass through the center of this line. So I'm going to create an auxiliary point here, which will lie on this line, and I'm going to place this point between these two points. That is, I select these endpoints of this line, and I select the symmetry constraint. And now I select this point, I select this line, and I select constraint point onto object. And now this line goes through the center of this line. Here I'm creating this line in order to create an auxiliary plane here. And we could make it so that this line ends at the edge of this model. However, I would like it to be a little longer. And so the radius of this solid is 25 millimeters. So here, the length of this line, I will enter 26 millimeters. OK, exit the sketch. And now I can create an auxiliary plane based on this line. I select this line then with the control key. I select the endpoint of this line and I select create a datum plane. And here I select normal to edge and I click OK. And we have a plane created. And now on this plane we can create holes. I select this plane and choose create a sketch. And here we have this view of this plane. It looks like this. We can rotate it a little bit. OK, and we're going to draw two circles lying on the x-axis. Let's add the diameter here. 10 millimeters, here also 10 millimeters. Then let's add the distances between these holes, 60 millimeters. And then add the distance of this circle from this point. And here, 20 millimeters. Exit the sketch and add the pocket operation so that we make the holes. And here note that by changing the length of this extrusion, nothing happens. But this is because this extrusion of this cutout is made this way. And if we select reversed here, these holes will be visible and we can specify some value here so that these holes are through holes. Click OK and this is how we added the holes here. And then we select this operation. Select the polar pattern. Here, select the base Y axis as the axis of the pattern and add three copies so that we get holes at these locations. Click OK. I will turn off the visibility of this plane. I'll turn off the visibility of this sketch. And this is how we created something like this. And that's all for today. And if you want to learn more about working with FreeCAD, want to learn the basics of 3D modeling in this system step by step, you can take part in my FreeCAD course, which you can find the link to in the description to this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.